talking about Q+, uh, I will give you only a very brief overview. Uh, the follow-up sessions will give you more details about how to use this software. You can download it uh, from our website. Just go to the Tools uh, tab and then select Software, and this is free to download. This soft software interface is quite simple and user-friendly. The design window is the main screen, as you can see it here. Uh, uh, you can access all major features of the software from here. Uh, it is divided into the following interactive areas. Process flow diagram panel, the main one. Uh, project information panel, main toolbar, design input panel, and project management tabs and the report generation panel. Again, I'm not going to talk about how to use software. Please uh, attend all uh, follow-up seminars. The critical design parameter for every project is the system flux. Company system design guidance can be found within the software. This table summarizes our recommendations for maximum system flux for various water sources that have specific fouling potential. While doing a system design, one should be cautious about individual elements not to exceed critical parameters, such as maximum element flux, recovery, etc., etc. This table summarizes LG design guidelines applicable for elements, individual elements. Every time when one or another parameter exceeds these recommendations, software generates a warning. The goal of the designer is to come up with such a system that does not have warnings. Then you need to select the right type of the membrane, and you already know how to do that. We talked about this previously. When the membrane selection is done, you need to properly size your system. These are very straightforward guidelines how to do that. Design capacity is used as a starting point. Following the design guidelines, we can select the recommended system flux for a particular source water and back calculate the required number of elements and pressure vessels. However, sometimes both system and flux, system flux and the number of pressure vessels are set by a customer. And in this case, the system size is basically fixed and there is not much room for optimization. Designing a system using the software involves multiple iterations that may be required to come up with the optimal design that is free of warnings. Once the user is satisfied with this design, a detailed report can be generated as is shown here. The report contains all individual element performance, stream compositions, salt saturations, etc., etc. And at this moment, I have to stop my today's presentation because I'm out of time. And basically, uh, you are invited to all our next classes that will be ex uh, you know, uh, exactly at the same time, at the same day for the next five weeks. At this time, uh, I can answer your questions. If you have any, probably already quite a few of them. Uh, I will take a short break to review already submitted questions. And you can continue uh, sending more. And let me take a couple minute break and I will get back to you in two, three minutes. <laughs> 